when I finally got glasses, like the doctor even said, you're gonna be able to see the leaves on trees. And I did, I went outside, I was like, ooh, detail. <laughs> there's like, there's detail out here, okay. I could go for a run or do whatever without my glasses, but seeing the, the detail and the distance, I mean, mm -hmm. you just got used to it. Yeah. Missing, yeah. kind of missing out on that, I guess. And then you used contacts through your 20s? Um... Yeah, I couldn't wear those really to play sports. I was always afraid of losing them, you know. And then playing water polo when I couldn't see the other member of my team's position in the water and I, a couple of missed throws, I realized, like, i got to do something about that. <laughs> That's quite funny. I think LASIK was starting to come out. I remember a friend of mine um, played water polo at the 2000 Olympics and had his done before so he could see so i think lasik was coming out but it's one of those things like a laser on my eyeball like mm, i don't know like what if they mess up and i mean that's your eyesight you know i'd rather just deal with contacts and glasses than have somebody not know what they're doing mm -hmm. and then now what that's a key point it is the before way surgery i felt more comfortable with the icl because it's reversible you know when you're doing all your vision tests for glasses yeah. like maybe if I'd pick the wrong pair or, you know whatever prescription they put in the eye like you know when we wear glasses your prescriptions too strong you kind of yeah. get sick mm -hmm. to your stomach yeah so I felt like if anything went wrong take it out put another one in or just Try take it out that. and cancel the whole thing I wish I'd done it earlier Oh, you do? I do. Mm -hmm. When do you think you'd like, if you look back? I would have liked to have done it before our wedding. And when was that? Uh, we got married in 2009. Okay. So I went on a safari yeah. in 07. That would have been nice. That would have been cool. And uh, there's so much dust that kicks mm -hmm. up when you're driving in the van. So, mm -hmm. you know, I travel a lot. I wish I had done it. Well, the, too, like traveling mm -hmm. on, the, on the airline, mm -hmm. right? It's always glasses because traveling overnight. Yeah. Your contacts get dry, I have to go to the bathroom, deal with it. Do I have enough? You know, whenever you travel and do anything, do I have enough solution? Why do I have to bring this big one? Can I, but is the little one gonna be enough for the weekend? It's just, it's just one less thing. Mm -hmm. If we had to, so we said about this might be a new chapter in your life, mm -hmm. what would we title that chapter? <laughs> Freedom. <laughs> That's good. Just... Clear, I can see clearly now. <laughs> yeah, like the old song, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I feel like young again. I don't, you know, like yeah, how, how do you yeah, feel? like a facelift or something. Yeah, how do you, <laughs> you just, feel inside? Though? Just good, happy, healthy, young. Like I don't forty, whatever. Bring yeah. it. Like mm -hmm. I'll go into the fifties, sure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I want to age healthy. I want to be retired and go on that that vacation and not be limited by my physical. Being in sports and active and healthy has just always been a part of my life. But I've never been able to really just see clearly unaided. And it just feels great that I finally can.